an interview with George and uh, me and Matt Okerlund when George was attacked by Dranik, a longtime veteran. See there when he runs away. George looks behind him, and out from the shadows is Dranik. Beats him unmercifully with a chair. Folks, if you only knew how much that chair weighed. Three hundred and forty-five pounds. George recovers. Get enough. And that brings us to the press, folks. That set up this new match. First coming out is George. He weighs 200, standing at 510. And there's Dranik. Fans do not like him. But as you see, the Jack Lope points wrapped around his neck. He has a great martial artist ability. Let's get underway. This is a seven count pinfall match, folks. Dranik jumps off. I'm being joined here by Sean. Sean, how do you think this match sizes up? Oh, into the house. Uh, George looks like he uh, has a more weight advantage towards a Drenic. But Drenic is a more agile. Yes. Mate. He also got to jump on him with that chair. Right now, George is being pummeled by the chair that weighs 345 pounds. Pounds. George make it up from this? I don't think so. They're going uh -oh. behind the house now. What can happen? There's cameras. First minute. Oh, no, a reversal. No, nope. George gave me. Oh, into the house himself. Folks, that house. If you only knew how much that house weighed. Banana split. 342 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What a banana split there. I hope he doesn't plan on having kids. George goes get the chair. Put his head back on. Swings. Oh, a slow oh swing. Oh my God, I got a granny can swing a cane harder than that. He speeds it up a bit there. Oh, and he oh, hammers. Oh, he hammers him down with that one. Picking him up now. George rallying. But oh, he falls and manages to unfold the chair while falling down. What an amazing feat. Oh, he slings the chair into his knees now. Freaking underneath. Now we all know how George likes to throw him into that. Was this torn spins around? Oh, into a DDT. He reversed it. George did not get his famous knee cracker chair thing. Slamming the knee. I mean the chair on George's knee. Folds it. We like to thank Jackie Sanders for his chair contribution. Oh my oh man. That was a devastating. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, that one. That one didn't connect. But that one did. That one sent him downtown George Brown. Folks, if y'all didn't know, George is a long-lost son of mankind. That's why he's referred to as George Kind. Now, folks, some background history on George. He enjoys... Cutting well, himself. Cutting himself, stabbing himself. And busting his nose. And yes. Oh, George standing there waiting on to get hit by a ladder. And stands right back up. I think George is preferably as to pain. Oh, picks him up, throws him. Oh, and hits his knee on the concrete. Short on clothesline. Spins him in circles, folks. George trying to make up his mind what he wants to do. 
thought it was Mighty Turtle Lighter. <laughs> oh, man. Excuse me. Drenic. Oh, yes. Now, I will say this. George has mostly has fought Matt Hardman, but not this time. Now, remember, folks, if Drenic loses, he must retire from the FWF. George kicks the lighter for some odd reason. <laughs> I cannot figure that one out myself. Just climbing. What's Mike gonna do? Oh, oh my gosh! Knocked him off of the garage! <laughs> Boy, that's a... Washes George into the ground. That's the biggest top turnbuckle that I have ever seen. Massive turnbuckle. Now, the way up is not very tough. Oh, throws a hat at him, just like Kung Lao. George used to be in Mortal Kombat. He also used to be a Power Ranger. So that's where most of his energy comes from. Oh, oh! Jumps right over him. I think that's where his Power Ranger moves come into effect. George running. What's he gonna do? Graves and or. That runs behind the... No! Oh, comes out with a shovel of his own! Banging George in that already once tore shoulder. A slam stuck. Uh, 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 does something. Oh, hits him in the shoulder. A good. Commentator getting a little tongue tied here. <laughs> George has enough strength to spit DDT onto the grass. What an amazing move! George going for a special move now. Well, what, what? Uh, is this the pedigree? Yes. Oh, I think George hit his head on his own knee there. Mike going up to the top, top turn. Oh. Drain it going up to the top turnbuckle. George! Oh, attempts to grab. Knocks him off balance a bit there. Trying to pull him down. Has a sudden change of heart and throws him back up. And then tries to grab him again. Just enough to trip him. That must have really hurt because he's still down. Oh! Rolls the chair over on him! George gets hit. Oh, he finally falls. Now, folks, I would like to tell you that Sean himself, oh, I think we already covered that. Everyone knows he's a wrestler, right? Yeah, I thought that. And his expertise is well, well-rounded in these kind of matches. Kind of like Jesse the Body Ventura. George climbing to the top now, going to the top turnbuckle. What do you think he's doing here? Oh, a spear! Oh, he's sweet! Up, up, up! Oh, my lord, what a move! That was an amazing abuse of agility right there. Gonna pick him up. Tried another pedigree and didn't quite do it. Uh, no, I don't believe he hooked the arms. George punches. I mean, Drake punches. Oh, George throws him. George throws Drake to somewhere. Oh, and there's the yard. Well, cameraman's working for free tonight, folks. Oh, and Drenick miraculously lands on another building. Where did that building come from? It was hidden behind the top turnbuckle. And personally, Sean, if I may say this, that I get the sneaky suspicion that that is not a top turnbuckle, but it's in fact a garage. That garage will be here for millions of years to come. Yes, it's a well-rounded, well-built garage. Oh, see, that's what I thought. There's stuff inside it. If you can believe that, folks. Back to the action. George is apparently being thrown off the building. Oh, jumps, Janet gets off and gets hit by a chair. George with his famous stomp. Yeah, the sumo joke kick, because we like to prefer it. I just got word that the winner of this match 
has to face Matt Hardman in a cage match for the world title. I'll be he's the number one contender. So whoever comes out with the championship here. Now, now listen, that is good for Drake because he, he'll win the title, defend it in a cage match if he wins. But if he loses, he must retire and end his five-year career. Throws the chair down on George. Now, you don't see very much technical wrestling in these kind of matches. You see mostly abusive, hardcore garbage. What is that, Sean? What was he banging his head on? On the grill. Oh, my gosh, a grill. They won't be cooking out tonight. Where are they going? For a dip? Oh, my gosh. Do you know where they're going, folks? That may look like an ordinary creek, but you must remember it's here in Glen Fork, and that is not water, but it's in fact. Hydrochloric acid. Oh, yeah. How these men can stand up to this kind of punishment, I don't know. The skin has to be burning by now. Oh, he throws George. George must... Thou, oh, oh, wow. Oh, throws man on a rock. Drain a on a rock, excuse me. And drags him into the acid. That must have really hurt. Throwing mud in his eye. Now, I bet that burns the retina. Picks up a rock. Oh, my Lord! Crashes the rock on his head, ladies and folks. Gentlemen. Folks. Oh, he slips. Oh, he rolls into the acid. Now, George hits Dranik with a rock. Oh, smack to the bag there. Pulls him over. Where are they going now? You know what this is? They did the pedigree in the war. Acid. acid. Back to the match, folks. Excuse us there for a second, but I don't know what happened. George for the pin. One, two, three, four. Oh, only gets a four count. Sean, why do you think he could only get a four count there? I'm uh, not really sure. I'll, might not be able to count the seven. <laughs> that could be true. Oh, oh. Throws him in the glass. Oh, my Lord. George has a four foot laceration on his knee. Deep, too. Picking him up. George slowly getting up. Turns to spit. What's he doing now? Punches his stomach. And slams him into that other building. And George grabs Drannick and slams him in. Man, even their clothes held up in the hydrochloric acid. You see, here in the Fork Wrestling Federation, we build our clothes tough. What is that? A chain? What is that? Looks like... Handcuffs to me. Oh my lord, what can he do with handcuffs? Not handcuffing. Certainly not. Doesn't to the house. Surely he's not gonna handcuff him. He sure didn't. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, he gets George we might as well call him Houdini, folks. I haven't seen did you wow. George is unstoppable at this point. He goes to, oh, and George reverses but that. Will he him. win this match? What's he doing now? Oh my gosh, he's handcuffing. Dranik needs to get up if he wants his career to stay online. George doing his famous stomp again. His little sumo joke kicks. Picking up a chair now. Throwing the chair on him. Stomping it. We've seen that one before. Here it is. The one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. And your winner, oh my gosh, Dranik must retire. I can't believe this. George is still reigning champion. Oh, and Dranik, what is he doing now? He's attacking him. That's what he's doing. Fixing him up. George manages to clinch his hat. And a red storm rising, folks. If he could have done that during the match, he might have won. He walks away. Nice picture of the trash on the porch. <laughs> oh, oh, and he spins around. I don't know how he saw George. Kicks him in the gut. Showing his martial artist ability now. George trying to fight back. But he cannot seem to keep his pants on him. On him. Can't keep his pants. <laughs> Can't seem to keep his pants. Our commentator's getting tongue-tied again. <laughs> he kicks him in the back of the... Oh, he misses that one and falls right over it. Oh, 
There's a punch to the sectorial area. Oh, oh, what a leg drop. What do you call that kind of leg drop? Uh, it kind of hurts. Oh, yeah. It kind of hurts leg drop. This, oh, kicks the face. George just lays there. And Drake runs off into the chamber one trees. Well, that's all here tonight, folks. Hope you had a good match. See ya. <laughs>